this tutorial I'm going to be doing a collaboration with one of my favourite YouTube gurus and we're going to be doing an animal themed collaboration and this is pretty exciting for me because Lauren is one of the gurus who got me into makeup in the first place. So please check out her video, I'm sure you're absolutely going to love all of her tutorials. First thing I'm going to do with this look is take a white eyeliner and it can be any brand you want and we're going to start by drawing out the fish. Now don't freak out, it's not as difficult as it looks. The first thing you want to do is just create the rough shape of the body, so kind of create a long rounded tube I suppose, rounded at one end and then thinning out into the tail. And Once you've drawn that shape, you then start adding in the extra little details like the fins, the mouth, the tail. I always start off with the really basic features and then go for detail. If you do it the other way around, you're going to get confused and you're going to mess up. It's much easier to just break it down into simple steps and then start from there. Once you've sketched out the basic shape of the fish, you want to go over it again and make sure that the lines are all neat and you've got them exactly how you want them. Now you can skip this step if you don't want to do it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white concealer and use this as a base so that anything I put on top will stand out even more. So I place these on the back of my hand just to warm it up so it's a little bit more pliable for me to apply it onto my face. So using a brush I applied it all over the design and make sure that the edges are very neat. Now with a nail art brush I'm going to take a red and starting with the middle fish, I'm going to be doing different designs for each fish. So the one in the middle is just going to have a simple dot on its forehead. The tail I'm going to have a few flecks of red but nothing major. And then for one on the right side of my face, I'm actually going to be using gold. Now you can use whatever kind of gold eyeshadow you want. If you want to use a more affordable brand or a more expensive brand, it really doesn't matter. It's whatever's more comfortable for you to use. With this gold loose pigment I'm going to be applying it wet because if you apply it wet it looks a lot more metallic and shimmery rather than if you placed it just by itself as it can look a little bit dull on top of the white if you do that. So now taking the red with a nail up brush I'm first of all going to outline the design and then going over it again I'm going to blend it out so that it blends really nicely into the white. Done this take a black eyeliner and you want to outline all the designs and then taking a small detail brush again you want to blend out the edges. For details like the eyes and the scales I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner because I want these details to really stand out and I don't want the eye to completely miss them. Now if you're a beginner and you're not very confident with the liquid eyeliner then don't use this because if you mess up it's very difficult to undo what you've done. So if you're a little bit unsure with yourself, then just stick with an ordinary eyeliner pencil. Once you finish things like the eyes and the scales on the fish, you can make the design a little bit more interesting by creating patterns around the fish. Now obviously if you don't want to do this you don't have to, but some people might find it a little bit strange just to have fish on the face, so the designs will help make it look a little bit more artistic and less like fish on your face I suppose. <laughs> Make sure that the edges are all blended nicely, now you can use a brush, your fingers, whatever tool works better for you. Now once I've done all these designs I'm then going to take a silver loose eyeshadow and I'm going to press it along into the areas that I've faded out. So I'm not going to be covering up the edges where there's a very harsh black line, I want to get it into the faded parts just so that there's a little bit of a silver glow to it. But the main thing you mustn't forget if you're going to do this look is to take a little bit of cosmetic glitter and just place it on the fish where you would naturally get highlights if they were in water or if they were moving about for example along the ridges of the spine and you can also put some along the designs around the fish too if you want to finish off with some false eyelashes and red lipstick and that's it, you're done